Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Alpha Plays here, and welcome back to another core video. Today, we are here with episode 5 on how to change weapon stats, man. So, we're gonna get straight into it. Last time, we did NPC stats. You can check it out here. I got a whole playlist on core. Uh, it could be important to go check out those videos before this one, they are in order. You could check them out if you want. Okay, five further to do, man. Let's go. On your weapon of choice, all you really want to do is just go over to it, and you're really gonna see a bunch of options here. So starting from the top, let's go down. We have an animation stance. The animation stance is basically how the player will hold the weapon. So default, it will say rifle stance. This is what it looks like right now. So just like this. Now, let me just change this part of it. So rifle, and let's just do rifle shoulder. Let's see what that looks like. So now I'm gonna pick it up. As you can see, the gun is located near my shoulder. Now, if I also change this to hip, this is what this looks like. So the rifle is located near my hip. So that's basically what the stance does. Next we have a reticle type. You could put it on none, meaning that you won't have a reticle when you have the gun. But I'm just gonna leave it at cross here. Okay, now we got range. So max travel distance. If I also set this to a low range, like 500, I won't be able to damage the skeleton until I'm in range. So if I was to shoot from over here, it's not gonna do nothing. I gotta get pretty close at 500 right here. I'll be able to shoot him. So that's the range. I'm gonna leave it at the default. And here's the damage. We're not gonna actually do this because we have something separate to mess with damage. And if we go over here and go into the destructible weapon server that we set up. Over here, we, we got damage set up and it works, it works better. So over here, we're just going to change the damage to players if you want to change it. I'm just going to change objects and NPC. These are the two that are going to work for the NPC, the skeleton. So damage to objects is going to be regular damage. And then here is the headshot damage. So let's just do 10, 20. So when I shoot, skeleton in the body should do 10 and the head should do 20. Now we could close this back up and let's, let's focus on some other things as well. All right, so here, the shots per second, this is going to actually change the speed that the weapon fires. So if I was to double this at 12, it's going to fire very quickly. So as you can see, it fires very quickly. If I was to put this at one, it's gonna fire very slowly. Let's check that out. This, this is what that looks like. It's one shot per second. So whatever this is, it's basically that many shots per second. So if I was to do 10, it's gonna do 10 shots per second. You get the point. If you set this to like 100 or something, you know, if you wanna really exaggerate this, then that's what that looks like. Oh, well, okay. Okay, burst stops on release. So normally with the gun, let me just show you what this means. Uh, whenever you let go of your mouse, it is going to stop the bullets. Now, if I was to put this off, this is what it's gonna look like if I just tap it basically. Look. It's just gonna fire until it runs out of ammo. So that's basically the difference between that. So for burst count, I'm actually gonna show you this with a different weapon. I think it would represent it more. You can actually see it better. Uh, I'm gonna represent it with a pistol. So over here in this pistol, we have the burst count as one. So the burst is just the number of automatic activations of a weapon that generally occur in a quick succession. So if I was to put this at three, this is what it looks like. I hit the mouse and it's just gonna shoot three times. So that's, that's what burst is. You kind of get that. Oh, of course, if you could burst on release as well. We already mentioned that though. I wanna stop the burst now. So you could have it like that. So we already showed the burst count. We wanna get into the multi-shot. This is why I choose the pistol because you're gonna be able to see it better. Let's raise this to three. And we're actually wanna go down quite a bit here until we get to spread. And let's just change this spread to like five minimum and 10 max, just so I can show you something. As you can see, it shoots three bullets. You can see right there. Let me full screen this for you guys. So there's three bullets. You can see right there. And you can see the spread. That's why we had to increase it, just so you guys could actually see that shooting three bullets. So if I was to decrease this spread, it would be probably more accurate. So let me just do like uh, two and four. I'm not sure if you're going to notice it too much, but let's see. Yeah, you can still notice it. So now it would actually be better because, you know, it's more on the target. So that's basically the multi-shot function. Okay, deleting the pistol, we'll go on back to the assault rifle, the original plan. All right, guys, getting into the projectile settings. Let's go. So projectile speed. As you can imagine, you should just speed it with a projectile. If I also put this at like 200, it's going to be a... Oh, hold up. 200 is going to be a very slow projectile. Let's see that. As you can see, you can see the projectile right there. So you can have very slow projectiles like this. And uh, yeah, you could do something like that. Projectile lifespan, duration of projectiles. So if you want to have this on slow, 
and like a two second projectile lifespan. Once you fire, after two seconds, the bullet will disappear. So this doesn't usually matter with uh, fast weapons since it's gonna hit, but with slow weapons like this at 200 speed, it's gonna matter the lifetime of it. If you guys wanna have an infinite projectile lifespan, put this at negative one. And now we're going to have an infinite projectile lifespan. It won't go away, it's just gonna keep going until basically it hits something. Getting into projectile gravity, this is the scale that's gonna be applied. So let's put this at two. Let's just see what that looks like. You can see here, it's very weird. The bullets are falling immediately. Okay, now let's try negative one. So now the projectile should go up. So basically, it's just gonna go up. That's kind of the deal with that. If you were to put it at a lower number, it's gonna go up slower. So if I was to put it at a decimal number, like uh, negative 0 0.1. Oh, I did that wrong. 0 0.1. Here's what that's gonna look like. It's going to go up very slowly. So that's that. Of course, you just get rid of the negative. Now it's going to go down very slowly. So let's see that. As you could see, so that's projectile gravity, guys. Now let's get into projectile drag. So this is basically like deceleration, acceleration of the bullet. So if I also put this at negative one, it's going to speed up as it goes along. So let's see that. Starts off slow, speeds up. So you can see it just like that. Slow, speeds up. If I also put this at put this at one, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to deaccelerate. So. As you can see, it's going to get slower, slower. So you do remember that we did add the gravity, so that's why it doesn't just stay up forever. If I was to get rid of the gravity, zero. Now let's see what's gonna happen here. So as you can see, it's going, and it's just gonna basically stop mid-air here and just kind of chill here. So that's the deceleration of it. So basically, negative is going to speed up and positive is going to slow down. Let's put that back to normal at zero. Now let's get into projectile bounce. This one, this one's pretty cool. Let's put this at one. It's going to bounce off of a surface of, of anything. So as you can see, it bounces off the surface and it goes up. So one more time, it's going to bounce off the surface. So it's basically just a bounce. If I'll spray this a couple of times, it's just gonna bounce off and go up. It bounces once I have it set up right now. I could, you could put it on whatever number you want. It's just gonna hit stuff. And uh, it could even, it's even gonna bounce off of the NPC here. I mean, it's very slow, but there you go. You can see it bounces off. I made this spot just so I can show you guys even better. This guy's shooting at me, but it doesn't matter. So, bounce, bounce, bounce. Now it's at four. Let me set it to like 20. I just want to see how this works. If I was to do this like crazy, it's gonna, it's gonna be crazy in here. To basically what it's looking like. Oh my. Uh, I'm gonna reset this back to zero. And now let's get to the ammo. So this is pretty simple. You got your max ammo. Right now it's at 30, let's set it to 60. And yeah. And we already talked a little bit about the spread. Basically, the more you increase the spread, three, six. You guys should see that my crosshair has gotten bigger. I'll show you guys an extreme example now if I raise this like crazy. 20, 40. Now you guys are definitely going to see what I'm talking about. Look how big this crosshair got. So that basically also increases the crosshair because it is spread. Spread is mainly good if you want to have, like I said, with the shots, the multiple shots. So let me show you guys that. Let's raise this to 10 and 20. And then change the multi-shot like we did with the pistol earlier. So a multi-shot would be over here, right? Yeah, multi-shot. Let's put it at like five. And let's see that now. So as you can see, it's shooting five at a time. You could notice now because of the spread of it, as you can see. So that's that's why that's kind of useful. The spread and that kind of work together to spread in the multi-shot. Well, that's basically it. You could change the, uh, the socket, I guess, to left if you want to. Left prop in your, oh, that, that's, just, that's just weird though. <laughs> see, I, I basically have it in my left hand. But it looks really weird. All right, now we're actually gonna make our way inside of the assault rifle. Let's open it up, and we got the shoot and the reload function. These are the last two things we're gonna talk about today. Let's head to the shoot and let's go down. So this is basically just your cooldowns, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so it's your primary ability. That means it's binded to this. Can activate while dead. I mean, if I was to turn this on, I'll just be able to shoot while I'm dead. I guess I guess I can show you guys that. I think that's what it's on though. Yeah, I could just. I gotta kill him while I'm dead. So we're probably not gonna want to have that on. Cast. This is the, the the first phase. So if I was to put this at one, this is you, I kind of think of this as like input delay. When I hit it, it takes a second for it to actually shoot. That's how I kind of think of it as execute, execution phase, recovery phase, and then cooldown phase. So cooldown is the main one. Uh, if I was to put this at three, I can only really shoot a bullet every three seconds. You're gonna see the cooldown down there changes. So now it's three seconds. Uh, if you don't have that UI, I did mention it in a previous episode. It's called Spell Shock Abilities Canvas. You get it from the community content. 
by searching spell and spell shock weapons. So when you get that, you head over to spell shock weapons and then you should see right here on the white right side spell shock ability canvas. Recovery is basically like uh it's basically like a cooldown in a way, but it's not. It's more like, in a way, like putting in another clip, I guess. I guess it's kind of hard to really explain. But, I mean, it's all part of still like a, a cooldown, if you think about it. I mean, I, I can't keep going. Basically, my, my gun my gun is recovered. <laughs> basically. I mean, I don't even know how else to put it. Reload. Last thing. Let's check it out. It's kind of the same thing. And for the reload, you only really use the uh, cast. You could use a cooldown if you don't want people to just reload whatever they want. But just like a five cooldown. And a cast time of five seconds. Cast time is gonna be how long the reload is. So I'm gonna start up my reload now. As you can see, it's gonna last five seconds. And then I'm gonna have a five second cooldown where I cannot reload anymore. So let's shoot. I cannot reload for five seconds. And now I can reload again. So that's how you add a reload. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. That's basically everything, man. Um, everything's set up now. Uh, I showed you guys how to edit a bunch of stuff. I mean, this weapon is super OP right now. It's slow. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, man. I, I, <laughs> those guys are gonna kill me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Th thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna talk about weapon appearance and uh, NPC appearance and like changing that stuff up. Then we're gonna get into templates. That's gonna be interesting. So I'll see you then, man. Peace out.